Greetings, demons, and welcome to a quick look at the Ezio Auditore skin, I guess. It's not really bundles, only the skin, but it does have a built-in emote and a built-in back bling, which is, you know, a cape. And, uh... Yeah, this is basically available currently only by buying any version of Assassin's Creed Valhalla through the Epic Store. So uh, I just got the base version because I didn't already have the game and I have been wanting it. I think it's only going to be available for like one or two days on a discount, but it is currently something like 60% off on the Epic Game Store. So it's definitely worth getting. And overall, it's only like $5 more expensive than it will be to buy the V-Bucks for this skin when it comes into the amp shop, which it will be at some point. So if you're not on PC or just don't have access to the Epic Store for some reason, you're fine. You know, you'll be able to get it. But yeah, you get Ezio Auditore de, uh, de la Frenze. Is that his name? He's an Assassin's Creed 2 character. Most people know him from Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Assassin's Creed Revelations. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite assassins <laughs> like i'll be honest when it comes to Assassin's creed i only really like Assassin's creed 2 and uh 4 black flag but uh yeah let's just equip the skin and have a look at it properly so no edit styles i don't think maybe oh you can actually take the hood down okay so you start off with this hooded version which looks really good the detailing is it's it's chef's kiss you know it's it's great and obviously with it being a gaming legend skin it's very accurate, you know, I don't think we've had a single bad Gaming Legends skin, even ones that I wasn't all that interested in. They're all great, they all look amazing, and I'd honestly say this might be the best Ezio has ever looked. Like, out of any of the games that he's appeared in, even like actual Ubisoft games and stuff, he just looks so good in this, it's actually kind of incredible. And then you do have a HUD down version, which... It is accurate to the game, but it is kind of weird that he doesn't have the hood behind him, but, you know, it is what it is. And that looks great. The likeness is, well, the, the likeness, quote-unquote. The similarities to the game version of him are pretty good. I do quite like that. And, you know, overall, it just looks like Ezio. I can't get over just like, how accurate it actually is to the games without it actually looking as old as Assassin's Creed 2, especially, is at this point. Like, it's such an old game by today's standards, and... This is awesome. I love this. Obviously, you have the little details like the hidden switchblades on both wrists. You can kind of see it on the gloved wrist, but you can definitely see it on the open wrist. You got the assassin symbol on the uh, waist there. All the little details in the leather. It's just, there's so much to this skin. And honestly, if I was going over, I'd just be going over the entire design philosophy of Ezio Aditore. But yeah, it is just so cool. So, quickly equipping that. Obviously, he comes with a cape built in, which does mean you can wear any back bling over. So, there we go. We've got Data Hatchling just to show. But you can't wear any cape. So, as you can see, there's a load of them that have the exclamation mark on them. If it has an exclamation mark on them, you can't wear it, which does mean anything that is even classed as a cape, like the crested cape or whatever, you can't. But when it comes to something like Feathered Flames, even though I'd kind of consider it to look like a cape, you are able to wear that. So... Just keep that in mind if you're someone who likes to run back blades. I know a lot of people don't. But uh, yeah, finally, we do have the Assassin's Strike built in emote. And this, just like the Wolverine emote, I believe actually changed your harvesting tool to be the Hidden Blades. I do think that. I'm not 100% sure, though. It is very cool if it does do that, though. And in any case, it is a very neat looking. Little, little emo that does show off the skin pretty well. I love how he does it with the glove tanned. And honestly, I'm really happy with this entire skin. Like, for the £20 that I spent on it to get the game, you know, I'm getting a really good game as well as a skin that I honestly am probably going to use quite a lot. I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. As I say, I'm mostly interested in Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed 4. I haven't played either of the new two, so Valhalla and... Uh, whatever was before that, the Greek one. I haven't played those, so, you know, this is going to be my first experience, but honestly, this is just so good. We are apparently getting the female Valhalla uh, protagonist, so that would be cool. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this quick look. So, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Luna Rainbow Flag, Happy Pride, Rabbit with Facts, Dreamer Let's Play, Date Them I Like Dinosaurs, F N A F N Troll.
Not the leader of a cult. Rabbit with sacks. It's Luna.